As a motorsports reporter and being born and raised in Indianapolis, racing has always been in my blood. I'm a professional racer and car builder, and I've done quite a few car transformations over the years. And with our experiences and friends in the automotive industry, Colette and I have teamed up to combine our love for cars with our desire to make a difference. Helping Hands Garage is all about giving back to deserving families who have a project that's seen better days. Look at that, you feel all fancy. So join us as we roll up our sleeves and drive dreams forward at Helping Hands Garage. So it turns out when you don't have a car to get to work, it can be very hard to provide for your family. I'm Katie Osborne. And I'm Colette Davis. And this is Helping Hands Garage. Now this 2002 Acura TL is here for a very special reason. It was donated to a local charity called Wheels of Success, where they find deserving people who have suffered traumatic life experiences and help them get back on their feet or back on the road. So Wheels of Success is a nonprofit company set up here in Tampa. Started a little over 20 years ago by Susan Jacobs, our founder. And the idea is that we would take in donated cars, sometimes from people like myself, which I donated a long time ago, sometimes from uh, banks that get repossessed cars. They come into our inventory and we find willing and deserving recipients for the cars. So they, these could be people from all walks of life, but basically the car is the one thing stopping them from progressing in their career and getting a better job and getting back on their feet economically. This car needs to be reliable in order to be given away. It already has 135,000 miles, so we need to go through it completely to make sure it'll last 100,000 more. Before we figure out what it's gonna to take to make this Acura more roadworthy, it is time to meet the recipient of the car, Latoya Harrell, and Susan Jacobs, the head of Wheels of Success. It's already been a treat talking with Susan and LaToya about what this organization is, why you're here, and really what you're gonna benefit from. And Susan, how you got this organization really off the ground and running, no pun intended with all the wheels right. stuff. But <laughs> Wheels of Success so, has seemingly been something, Susan, that's been- love. It really has. It's and love, I'd so. love to hear a little bit more of the backstory. We were talking a little offline, but bring us so, up to speed. We're in our 20th year, mm -hmm. 1,200 cars later and another 1,200 services, and started this really because I was someone who needed this help. I mm -hmm. left a domestic violence situation, a abuser had wrecked my car, and so I knew what it was like to not have a car and need to get to work. Our main focus at the time when we started the organization was on domestic violence. And then we expanded out and we have a program for veterans. We have one for kids aging out of foster care. We have one for caregivers, mm -hmm. which is how LaToya came to us. And we have one that's called Build a Life, which is for people who don't fall into any of those, but have had some catastrophic life situation that, which she also had, mm -hmm. um, that uh, caused them to need need a car. Yeah. So obviously, Susan has mentioned you. Now you're checking a couple of those boxes to be the perfect candidate for a Wheels of Success. What's the backstory? I'm a caregiver, of course, um, and my car was totaled out. My son had an accident, and we totaled the car out, and I was from there. I couldn't really get clients or anything once the car was totaled. Then one of my former clients called me and suggested that I do private care and they were fortunate enough to get me to and from work. And What a blessing. Yes. And then her daughter referred me to Wheels. Okay. And that's how we are here now. Yeah, what a game changer, right? And you kind of sit there and hear Susan's story and knowing that you guys both have been in this scenario where you felt like you don't you don't have that freedom. You don't have the ability to get to and from, you don't have the ability to provide. When you're in that moment, help us better understand that kind of that feeling or, or maybe fear or concern. You have yeah, a family. It's, it's mixed emotions, fear. It's a le little bit of everything, especially when you have kids involved, dependents involved, and it's just like your life kind of stops. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a good thing yeah. to be able to get with Wheels and them to help me get my life back on yeah. track. People who come to us come as a victim, mm -hmm. and, and and they realize it, this is just a circumstance mm -hmm. that you're in. Mm -hmm. You're This is not who you are. Yeah, you're not defined this, by that's correct. That label. And, and you can do something to help someone else. You haven't seen the car that you'll be receiving. No, I haven't. <laughs> which is just so fun. Love a good surprise. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, but in big, big picture, anything you can you can lend us into the feeling that that might give for you? What? <laughs> freedom. Yeah. Just freedom. Freedom. Yeah. You can make more money. You can, like I say, your kids can do whatever. They're not limited to anything anymore. 
You don't have to bother others, you know, yeah, which people want to help, but they're in situations too, you mm -hmm. know, sometimes. So it's going to be freedom. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. All right, Latoya, the car is unwrapped. <laughs> and you're in the shining moment here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Okay, so you do love it. Yes, it, I do. Because why? It's going to make us some money and give us yeah. some freedom. <laughs> yes. But inside, there's some little gifts. We got leather. We have working AC. We have a sunroof. And we talked about the goods here. <laughs> we, you knew there were some goods. But there's also some things that brought it to the Helping Hands garage. There's a few cons, of course. I mean, mostly being the mileage. There's 135,000 miles. So we're going to give you a full tune-up on this thing. We're going to dive in under the hood, do a complete timing belt replacement. While we're under there, we're going to give you a new water pump as well, all new fluids, <laughs> make sure she's all tuned up. And then safety, we're going to throw on some new brakes and new fresh tires for you as well. Well, thank you so much. I just love those dance moves. Of oh, course. Those in you, you, of course. <laughs> you have to dance with. This is just a blessing. If I have to get under the hood and help, I will do that also. Well, she does have a hey, shirt. And we can teach you some things. Well, we can you do some all things. Here. You do have a Helping Hands Girls t-shirt So on. I will help with these So hands. you are the Helping Hands as well. So we have a lot of work to do under the hood, but we also have additional help joining us. That's Ooh. right. And before we meet everybody, I just am curious. what. Can we tell the garage that you're naming this thing? This is Gray Bay Bay. Hey. This is my Gray Bay Bay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be starting with the big job first, which is our timing bill. And luckily for me, we're going to have both our Helping Hands team and my good friend Bree Lynch here to help us out. Thanks, Thanks for coming back. Thanks so much for having me again. I'm so excited to be here. I'm very glad you're here. And in case you guys forgot, Brie Lynch is an incredibly talented Hollywood stunt driver and loves to work on her own cars as well. She has over 50 TV and film credits to her name, Fast and Furious, Black Panther, and so much more. Basically anything on four wheels, this girl can drive. <laughs> well, thank you again for the great introduction. You always do a fantastic job of embarrassing me a little bit, but... I love to brag about my friends, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are here to talk about this car today, okay? Because we have a very big job ahead of us. We have to yes. do a timing belt on this car, which is a really big job. In the real world, it can cost like over $1,000 to do. So it's a great thing that we're doing it here in Helping Hands Garage. So uh, we should probably get started because we have a lot of work to do. Zip tie bags. Oh, oh, more budget. Fancy. More budget for this episode. <laughs> the double, yeah, the double lock. <laughs> Here's your weapon of choice. Right in there. You can get those four. Oh, you're. Look at the shoes. The shoes are working too. I know that's right. So these two. So when we looked over the car, we realized that a timing belt had never been done. And at 135,000 miles, that is definitely something that I want to take care of for you because it is a big, expensive job and something that will definitely need to be done at some point. And over time, the belt will stretch, shorten, break. And if your timing is thrown off, your engine will not run properly. So we're going to get you all sorted with a brand new one. Yeah, so if you look right here, this is your access hole. And there is a marking on the cam gear in this access hole that you'll be able to see that matches the marking that's on the crank. Mm -hmm. And basically, when you turn the crank, you can see that both the cam gear and the crank are going to be at top dead center, which is what you need to do before you change the timing belt. So that's what we're doing right now. Carrie from Wheels of Success, you had just said that you're the lot manager, but actually yeah. you're a lot more to the organization. Well, I met Susan 10 years ago, loved what her program yeah. did, helped her set up shops, more shops to fix cars so she could get the most out of the money and uh, have helped her out up till last year when she needed it. And she <laughs> needed it last year and I hadn't left since. November. You get a chance to see the cars before they leave the lot, right. before they go, the keys are given to the recipient. Why is that so important with some of these vehicles? Well, this is not a new vehicle. You uh, don't 135,000 miles, but with this type of vehicle, this car, uh, I've seen them with 300,000 miles. Wow. On it, that this car, uh, my motto is it will run forever. Yeah, that's and right. With the work that y'all doing on the engine and stuff, it should be like a new car to me. 
Are you, you're wiping the face a little, <laughs> little, so sweat, grease, yeah, a little grease, grease on your face. Um, what is going on? What are you working on? Well, I finally just got this belt Yay! off. Yay! Yes. <laughs> finally just got this belt off. Um, and the belt is uh, was very difficult to get off because unfortunately with this way that this car was engineered, you gotta take the motor mount off just to get this belt off. Now mm -hmm. I could have easily cut it, but um, I'm gonna have to put another one on. Right, and in so. that case, it would not help the whole situation if you just yeah. slice and dice. Exactly, exactly. And we might as well replace the motor mount while we're here. So the old motor mount is out, and there is still plenty of work that needs to happen under the hood to get that timing belt just right. And next up, we'll meet some more of the Helping Hands team and start swapping out the old brake. back on Helping Hands Garage and Josh Simpson, president of Hercules Tire, has dropped in to make sure that everything is moving and shaking with his Acura TL, drop off some tires, and also get your hands a little dirty in this project. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having us. We're thrilled to be part of the Helping Hands Garage team. We're really looking forward to help put these tires on. For me, it's all about reliability and safety, mm -hmm. and the first thing that touches the road is our tires. Yeah, that's a really good point. And as the rumors had it, the tires that were on that thing, not so safe, a little bit old, needed a little bit of a lift. And so you brought these around. What are some of the details of specs on them? Sure, so this is a Raptus RT6. It is our ultra high performance all season tire. So perfect fit for the Acura, mm -hmm. 50,000 mile warranty, very safe, very protected. But on a car like this, that really has some so needing some TLC, why is it so important to have something like this? Well, we want to make sure that the performance is there, the safety is there. And what we've done with this tire is we've actually put some different components in the tire. The tire is infused with silica, which mm -hmm. helps the tire in wet traction. The tire also has a unique tread pattern that helps yeah, evacuate water. As it relates to a company, why is a show like this and why is kind of a garage like this something that you guys want to dip your toes in? You know, for us, it's all about giving back. And it's really about making sure that we take care of the folks that take care of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see this as a great opportunity, not only for our brand, uh, but also for the people that we work with day yeah. in and day out. Well, we appreciate that you're here and the team is here. Are you ready to get your hands dirty? Let's get dirty. <laughs> it turns out we have a few of these mounted. We need to make sure those rear brakes come off and get these back on the car. And it's gonna be almost time to roll it down the road. Can't wait. Thank you for your time, Josh. Looking forward to it. Josh Simpson has taken a deep dive into the rear brakes on Gray Bay Bay, and next, he'll let us know what he finds. It's day two here at the Helping Hands Garage, and of course, this 2002 Acura TL behind us has gotten a whole lot of love over the course of the last few hours. Now, Latoya, you went home, and you had an opportunity to share with your family that it wasn't just what car it was, but that you were actually getting a car. Yeah. <laughs> what was yeah. that reaction? They were so excited, like, yes, we can do everything again. We can go places, we can do everything. So they were very happy when I told them about the car. My, of course, my oldest son asked it, is there air? <laughs> what? Really, it doesn't Priorities. matter, but yes, we have air. <laughs> and that is, that is so special that you'll be able to give back, not only for you, your job, the freedom that you're looking for, yes, but make sure that your, your kids are back on the road as well. And yeah. Josh, I saw you earlier and you were already getting your hands dirty. You got yeah. your Helping Hands Garage shirt. Yes, we uh, <laughs> got to take the rear brakes off. So as you can see, the brake pads, mm -hmm. pretty worn in the back. You can see we're gonna put new ones on. So quite a, quite a difference there. And, yeah, thank goodness. Yep, huh? and then the rotors themselves were pretty corroded. We'll be replacing those with non-corrosive rotors, which will be a nice upgrade. Okay, you ready to go put these on. things on? Yes, All right, team, let's go do this thing. Okay, one thing you want to make sure that you do before you remove the timing belt is mark both the belt and the gears on here. You know, sometimes you can get a little excited. You spend all that time getting everything out of there, but you want to make sure you mark it first so that you can transfer over those markings to our new belt. Well, if you get it off one gear, the car will still run. Not very well. It will run. If you get it off more than one gear, you could have the engine coming apart from the inside. Be very, very bad. Easy. It's not yeah, what we want to happen right here. It's not getting it close. It's getting it exact, getting it right. Exactly. And it's really good that we got a new water pump as well, yes. because even removing the old one, we could already tell that it was leaking. Yeah, so the, we're all set. 
throw it on there and put on our new water pump as well. Colette and Harry have the new water pump in position and have the new timing belt in place. And after the break, we can start figuring out why the windows won't go up and down. Hey, first time. All right, so we finished cool. everything that we need to take care of under the hood. So now we're tackling some of those smaller issues, one of them being this back windows. We have this brand new window regulator um, that we're going to be installing. The, the window is going to basically ride on this over here. This is the entire mechanism, not just the motor, because it's just about the same amount of money. It's like maybe an extra $15 or so to get the entire mechanism. Now, you... although this is a smaller fix, like this is a smaller project that we have on the car, it's not going to be the easiest. We had to work in very tight spaces, but luckily we both, are you... got, we both got small hands. I think right? your so hands are smaller. That means you're probably going to do some work. See? Yes. Yes, we got it. It works. Good job. <laughs> so now we just gotta throw on what the handle? Yeah, the door and handle. And the door handle, yep. and then we are done on this side. So that is one of our smaller issues that we need to fix up. And on the other door, we have a different problem. Instead of the window not working, the actual door handle on the outside doesn't work. So we're just gonna scoot on over there and take care of that as well. All right, so in front of us, we have our old door handle assembly and our brand new one. So we have one major difference. Yeah. This one is dramatically broken. It looks like it yeah. snapped here right on the mechanism. And this one's nice and new for us. Looked like they had a lot of kids opening the back door. Yeah. And this one is still the original paint since 2002. It is. And on that note of it being the original paint, because this is older paint, it is traditionally really hard to actually paint match this, right? So yep. instead of painting our new one that comes essentially ready to paint, we're going to be swapping over this handle backing onto this. Right. So it'll be the right color and the exact original paint. And all we have to do is a little modification to get this one out. <laughs> yes, and on that note, that means we gotta, we gotta bust out the grinder here because this one is actually not meant to be easily disassembled. We're gonna have to cut this off here, but the newer one is meant to easily be disassembled, but, which yeah. will save us some time here, but just a little cutting. Harry and Colette have the door handles rebuilt and they are ready to go back on the car. And after the break, we'll start up the engine and check timing on the motor. Then Latoya gets to take the new car home and cruise with the family. Good to go. Works. <laughs> Welcome back to Helping Hands Garage. Now it's almost time to get Gray Bay Bay on the road and Latoya in the driver's seat, but not quite yet. We gotta go through what the Helping Hands crew has been working on. And I think, Bree, one of the things I find really fascinating is the fact that you were so far deep in there at one point in time with that timing belt that we, we it, it caused you a little bit of problems. We wanna make sure this thing gets 100,000 more miles to LaToya safe on the road. Yeah, absolutely. I was pretty elbows deep in there at one point. I was greasy almost immediately. But <laughs> our main thing that we were focusing on was reliability for this car. So we wanted to take care of the timing belt, which required us to take off a lot more stuff. Uh, we had to take off the motor mount, which was actually bad, we discovered, and nice. the water pump. So we replaced all of that. So Gray Bay Bay is just about on the road. And we even topped it off with some fresh fluids for you. <laughs> and then in the rear, I thought it was so fun earlier, you two were talking about your hand size. And I wasn't yeah. sure. Yeah, it was yeah, it a was pretty but dramatic it difference. But it has the smallest hands, which meant what? I do. Well, that made it actually easier to fix your rear window. So we had to replace a window regulator back there, and we also replaced your door handle that wasn't working. So everything is sorted now. And as you know, as you helped out with the brake pads and rotors. Now you know how to do that. Yes, I do. And we got some new Hercules tires on Gray Bay Bay for you. 
<laughs> she looking fierce, and uh, we're we're all very excited here with the Helping Hands uh, crew to see you in that driver's seat. But before that, even you know, you you talked earlier about freedom. You talked about obviously safety and reliability. Those are just a few of the choice words. What what are a few other words that maybe come to mind as you've been in this process? A lot of anticipation. Can't wait to get behind the wheel and take off. Take the kids on some more new journeys, <laughs> more adventures, everything. Journeys, adventures. Grocery shopping. Oh, the fun stuff. <laughs> grocery this shopping. This is your grocery getter in respect, yes. right? <laughs> well, it's almost time to get Gray Baby on the road, but what that means is that you have to get behind the wheel and you have to start Gray Baby up. Are you ready for okay, it? Okay, yeah, definitely. It's Let's time. get it. Let's do this thing. <laughs> All right, team, you ready? Yep. Yes. All right, it's a three, two, two. One. Break that thing. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. You feel fancy. <laughs> a no little shimmy. Shimmy. No nothing. Okay, then. How's that air, air conditioning? How's the air oh, conditioning? Oh, it's blowing well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy to have Ray Bebe in our life. She has her name personalized under the hood, inside on the dash. I felt very special when I saw that. That's an even better connection with the car. We can get back to normal life. Everyone can do their individual thing without being stressed about it. The Helping Hands crew, they are the bomb. They are very good people. Embrace me from day one. It felt like a family. So they make sure the job is done. They made sure Gray Bay Bay is a new baby. One day I'm gonna be a part of that crew. <laughs> it's incredible to see just how much a car can really change somebody's life. It is unbelievable. And Latoya, she kept talking about freedom and reliability and how this is really gonna allow her to have that extra oomph on the road and give her kids a new life too, which I think is incredible. Latoya, thank you for sharing your journey. And uh, we're excited to see Great Bay Bay back on the road. If you're looking to donate a car to a local charity, there are a few great reasons to do so. One of those is you'll get a tax benefit, and also you'll be making a positive difference for many people along the way. All right,